Hello and welcome to Rustic Roads, a short video tutorial on roads. And here we are at Topology Island once again. We're going to kick things off by heading up to the Asset Store tab up the top here. And we're going to type Easy Roads 3D Free V3 in there. And it should come up. We're going to click on Import. And it'll prompt you with a little window. You'll click Import. It'll take some time to do this writing of package thing. That's normal. I've already done this multiple times. Uh, it may prompt you to back up your stuff. Just simply hit OK. And I've, I've backed up my files. And it'll carry on writing and importing the package. Once it's done that, navigate back to your scene. Once back in the scene, what you want to do to get your easy roads going is right click in the left hand panel and go 3D object, easy roads 3D, new road network. It's going to ask you to back your trains up, I suggest yes, because that's always safe. And what pops up here is now a road network with some sub hierarchy and you can, you don't really need to worry about that at all at this stage or at all through this for this tutorial to work. Over here in the inspector tab pad panel we have got a uh, modular base script some information and the help button if you get stuck that's a pretty good set of resources it's fairly well documented and every little thing has a little question mark next to it and you can click that and it'll take you straight to where you need to know to get if you wish to learn the program in more detail but we're going to focus on the little cog and we're going to click on scene settings and what we're going to do is we're going to click on this little thing here which says none game object under mesh terrain and you want to click the little circle on the right hand side and you want to select land. Double click on land and it'll add it as the target mesh. Now what you want to do is you want to click the little road with a plus symbol which is the second button from the left and you'll be prompted for a type select default road 1 width 10 add new object. It'll automatically move you to the far left button and all we have to do now is simply shift click 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 now we have a wonderful little section of road and it is now tied to the terrain. There are some features for this uh, which you can play with but I'm not going to go into detail about them too much. But basically you can set the width and angle of these white panels on the side to deform your terrain to your liking by coming in and controlling these sliders down here under selected road marker and it's basically up to you how you make yours look end of the day. Once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to come to this middle one here and you want to click Build Terrains. And it'll say, are you sure you want to continue? You go, yes. It'll automatically deform your terrain to the road, which is fantastic. But we're not done there. What you need to do is you need to control Z and get back to that state. Once you're back at this state, you're ready to start the next step, which is pretty tedious, but it works and it is pretty effective. All right, for this part of the step, I have created a, fo uh, a folder with prefab clone and prefab clone metadata. What you need to do is you need to drag these two files into your asset window at the bottom here. And I've already done it, so I won't do it. Once you've done that, we're going to drag that here. And we're just going to pop it right here for now. And now we've noticed while we've got this still selected, we have this big array of data here. We've got offset, path data, and there's a whole bunch of options here which you do not change because these are the factors for which a road will adhere to a path. And then we have nodes. Nodes is a drop down menu. And because we're working with our little section here and it only has five individual nodes, we're going to create five nodes in our path clone here. Uh, to make it easier for you, move the path clone down beneath the road network so that you don't have to be clicking the long distance. What we're going to do is we're going to change our node size to 5 to correspond with our easy roads node amount. And we're going to have a look at offset here. Now offset is relative to map size. So this is a 1k map and it is equal to half of the size of your map. So if it's 2,000, this value will be 1,000. 
Y value never changes. It will always remain at 500, so you don't have to worry about that. Next step is to copy the node data over. For this step, I'm going to get you to unminimize your unit, uh, unmaximize your unity. I'm going to get you to drag it across like this. This will make this step much easier to deal with. And we can even move this on over a bit. What we're going to do is we're going to open a notepad. And with our notepad, we're going to have that just off to the side here to make it easy accessible. So to grab the first data, you need to select your road network on the left. You need to click the arrow here. You need to collapse all options except for selected road marker on the inspector tab. And here you will see position and X, Y, and Z. Simply make sure you're selected number one. And it'll say 105. And then simply control C over to the notepad, control V. Tab, back to the inspector, control C. Back to that, control V. Back to this. Tab, control V. Now, Unity can accept uh, basic math into its boxes, so because we're working with an offset of 500, I'm going to go minus 500, and I'm going to place that after each value. Copy, paste, and paste. If this was a 2K map, this value would read 5. Uh, 1000 and so with this value but once again the y value remains the same to get that data that I will not do the rest of the nodes because it's tedious and for the sake of the video I will uh, speed up the process and we'll just go straight into the game now to translate that data back into the uh, path prefab which we have saved um, simply click down on element 0 which corresponds to number 1 and copy the data from there into its corresponding slots underneath element 0, control C, control V, and as you can see it's applying the basic math as we go along, making it nice and easy. Once you have completed entering your data in tedious format into all of the elements underneath the node hierarchy, you can minimize that. And at the top here we will see some buttons in the whitish gray panel at the top and you just simply click apply. The next step of the uh, process here is to very very lightly sculpt out uh, some lowering. So what you do is you click on land, you click the raise lower tool, bring your opacity down to zero, brush size of five, maybe seven, seven's good, using the fluffy brush, the first one in the top left, and very lightly skim over once, Twice. That should be adequate. Checking the side of the road to make sure that it's not created any ugly gouges and also checking under it to make sure that it is actually lowered to a degree. Perfect. Looks wonderful. Maybe even go one more pass just to be sure. Alright. Still looks like we could tweak it a little bit more. One pass with a smooth brush at about 8% opacity. Should do it good. That wasn't a smooth brush, but we'll leave it there anyway, because that's great. We kind of want that there. Actually, we use gravel. That'll be fine. And yeah, we'll cut it back with a bit of grass on the sides. There we go. Wonderful. Now click on our smooth tool, and we'll quickly smooth it one pass. Lovely. Once you've done that, you can delete road network. You can drop down objects and drag your path clone and hover over paths and let it go inside there. All right, time to save the map. I'm gonna bake the height values just to be safe. We're gonna go export and we're gonna save it as Topology Island R1, save. Let's boot it up and have a look. And here we are. If you've made it this far through the tutorial, you should probably have something like this. Sorry about making a little bit on the long side. It was quite a lot of information to portray. It was hard to keep short. Uh, 
if you uh, like what I'm doing here with these tutorials, maybe consider checking out my Patreon. And if you like this video, chuck it at the old likey wikey and maybe a bit of the sub. Uh, I've also got a Twitch, you can go follow me there. I'll stream map making from time to time. And uh, once again, guys, thanks very much for uh, your time. And I hope you enjoy the, uh, the roads to come. It's obviously not the best and easiest way at the moment, but it is a way to get roads. I'll follow up this video with a, an update on the new Kill Use editor. And that's about it. Peace out, guys. Ciao.